The Wabash Valley's most accurate and reliable newscast continues with Storm Team 10's Joseph Dames. All right, well, welcome back. I hope you had a wonderful weekend. We're gearing up for a nice Monday, at least right now. Temperatures are feeling pretty good out there in the lower 70s. And uh, as we continue through the rest of the day, we're going to watch this wind. That's going to be the story for the afternoon. That southwest breeze already at 16 miles per hour. We could see gusts today all the way up into the 20 to 25 mile per hour range. So if you're heading out this afternoon, do be prepared for something like that. And we'll talk about that more fully uh, here in just one second. Temperatures in the mid 70s off to the south. So already on their way to the 80s, 75 in Vincennes, 77 in Flora. Uh, not even lunchtime quite there uh, yet. So uh, they're warming up fast to the south and already into the 70s to the north to Rockville at 71 and Terre Haute at 72 degrees. This is what we have going on, an area of low pressure really building to the northwest. It's going to slide this cold front through and that could bring in a few more clouds and then some cooler air behind it. But the byproduct of all this is going to be uh, not only a chance for some cloud coverage and the wind intensity is also going to pick on up. Quick look at the Storm Team 10 Storm Tracker. That's where that front is right now. You can tell there's a little bit of rain already starting to develop with this. Uh, it's going to be a very very small threat as we go into the evening hours today, but I'm still going to add that to my forecast as we get closer towards dinner time. So this is what we're tracking, just a warm start to the work week. As you can tell, temperatures are already in the upper 70s, well above our average. Our average for this time of the year is actually 70 degrees. And then with the winds that's going to pick up as that cold front gets a little bit closer, followed by some cooler weather. So let's take a look at some of the wind speeds right here across the Wabash Valley right now. It's running out of the southwest, uh, 18 miles per hour in Vincennes, 16 miles per hour right here in Terre Haute, 17 miles per hour in Paris, and 12 miles per hour in Bloomington. It's not just here either. We have a whole lot of issues going off to the northwest with wind advisories, high wind uh, warnings all into the north there. We have the Dakotas into Minnesota, and that's all due to that low pressure that has moved on in. So we're going to take a quick look at what we call streamlines. This is showing the intensity of the wind and also the direction. This is going to be later on as that cold front moves on through. As you can tell, the arrows are running out of the northwest and they're long and yellow, which means the wind is going to be a little more intense and stronger than some of the other white arrows. So just keep that in mind as we go through the next 24 hours. It's going to be pretty windy out there across the Wabash Valley. Here's hour by hour in the future cast one o'clock. We'll watch that as that cold front moves right on in. You can see the cloud coverage there, but a clearing right behind it. So it's going to be a pretty quick. It's going to move on through maybe a brief shower here across the Wabash Valley. But then once we get behind it, it cools on off and also dries on up as we get into our Tuesday. So here's your Tuesday morning at 7 a.m. Your morning commute tomorrow is going to be much cooler than today. If you uh, join us on News 10 tomorrow morning, I'll be telling you all about some cooler weather and uh, where we'll be for our Tuesday morning into the afternoon. No clouds by the afternoon. Here's midnight on Wednesday. We continue through our Wednesday in the same scenario. It's going to be dry. It's going to be cool and just sunny as we get through into our Tuesday and Wednesday. If you'd like to reach out to me on Facebook at WTHI Joseph Dames, or you could also uh, follow me on Twitter. Today we'll be topping off at 80 degrees. Uh, just a windy day out there. Warm fall day. A gust all the way into the 20s. I'm also going to add just a slight chance for maybe a brief rain shower as we get close to dinner time right around the 5 o'clock hour. Seven day forecast. Here we go. 67 degrees on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Uh, nice and dry weather, as I've said. Uh, 68 degrees for our Wednesday, 72 degrees on Thursday. Keep the sunshine all the way through. Friday, though, the clouds do roll on in. We might be looking at maybe another chance for some rain uh, late Thursday night into Friday. Haven't added it to the forecast just yet, but we'll have to update you. Of course, you get all those updates right here. By Saturday and Sunday, though, look at this, Rangel. 80s today, 58 degrees on Saturday.